So what we've done so far here, the first day of it, we've got our six by six pieces and we've laid out with string and a square and everything we've marked off with stakes and a string to make sure it's level all our, all our places where we're gonna have pieces. And then we're gonna have two for our floaters down here as well when we got our post card digger down here about ready to roll. Now we're laying the boat. So we've got all the posts dug. And I'm starting to just kind of lay in the poles. And I've run a string from the rebar, as you can see. And what we're going to try to do is that gives us a guide of reference to try to keep these things lined up even while after the holes are dug. And we've got our deep holes out here. These are gonna be separate because this is gonna hold our floating dock. So it'll go have a little gangway going from there to here. So, <clears throat> done good so far. We got all this stuff. Finally got them all in. We're gonna let them sit for a day. So I'm going to give you a little update on the where we've progressed since the last video of making a dock. Um, and the last video was several months ago, actually. Um, it's warmed up quite a bit. It's uh, April the 21st, I believe. So we've ordered the wood, and we've actually you can probably get a good idea of what we've done here. So when we were here before, we had big stakes, big uh, posts sticking out of the water, and that was really it. So the first thing we did was we cut some two by sixes here as our bracings. And we measured it 30 inches up from the water. Actually, it's 20 inches from the water to the bottom of that. And we have, we're gonna have another 10 inches just in wood and support going on up. We did that first measure to make sure they're all level and even and drew lines and all that kind of stuff so that we knew exactly where this would be flat and even. And we just screwed these in to begin with. We measured it so we'd have room for this to fall over the lip and the same over there. Um, we did a little screw to tack it in and then we did these carriage bolts. Yeah, man. It's a good one. That's going to carry the load everywhere and then we did these two by fours to mount it all the way on the sides and right in the middle and we just kind of scab them together to make it seem like a four by four so to speak we chopped these to where they would be just barely underneath there so we can hide them That, that one's heavy. Yeah, and then we're cutting our two by sixes and slowly making our way across. It'll take me a little while to finish it, but at least you get a good idea. And to show you that I'm not a very good builder, you can see this one right there, we didn't quite place very well because it's kind of bowed out. You can kind of see how it's bowed there a little bit there, which isn't a big deal. All the rest were in pretty straight, but that's, when you're, see like this one, these were all laid pretty straight though, but not this one. That was the troublemaker. Uh, but you know, when you're doing, as you can remember from the last section, when you're drilling post hole driller and everything, it ain't, it ain't always easy. So, but it's gonna turn out really good. I'll, um, we still have the floating part that we're gonna talk about later, but so far, so good. You up and make the pier, buddy? Look at that, Kim. You got a piece that goes all the way across, don't you? You did good. You need one. Give me a 
You did good, Campbell. Uh-oh. It's not super stable yet, is it? You're do it tight. Well, Daddy will help. We got it all done, and Frodo approves. All the way to the end. And you can see we were a little bit off there, but that's not a big deal. We can compensate for that. I got my cleats on. I'm going to come park the boat over. And we'll be good to go. Right, Frodo? You're climbing on it. So now we are constructing the floating dock. And as I've said, this is going to be in a two-part deal. So it's going to be 20 by 12 inches total, but I'm going to do a 10 by 12 and a 10 by 12 and put them in the water. So this is the first 10 by 12. So basically I made a frame, tried to make it as level as I could out here. Um, then made my rows across to match perfectly to the width of these things. And they're pretty easy to put on. Basically you've got these little washer nugget deals and you want it to be just a little bit on the loose side here. And I just did a little one inch lag bolt to kind of go through there. I think it's one inch, might be two inches. Let me see. Um, let's see. Uh, it looks like it's, oh, it's actually two and a half inch lag bolt. So yeah, they're pretty big. But they go through there and they attach. Um, and I'm gonna leave, deliberately leave a little bit of room here so that I can bolt, get in there and get my hands in there to bolt on um, some stuff. So far on the dock, I've got the fixed portion done. Hey, Oscar. And I've got the boat where my ramp's gonna go, because right now that's where it's parked. And then I've got the floating section here, which isn't done yet. I was gonna give you guys a little update on it. So I showed you how I made each individual piece. Now you can see I've got this connected onto here. This has got a little bit of wiggle room. And if it's too much, I'm just gonna um, scab on some two by sixes tighten it down through there but it's been holding like that for a while now and you can see I've got the two sections mounted together and I've got a a 2 by 10 on the outside of it so you can see I've got the 2 by 6 framing and the 2 by 10 that extends all the way across which holds it all together additionally I've got some bolts in between here which are holding them all together as well and I've got these raised up a little bit because what's gonna happen is, as you'll see, these should fall into these little gaps. Like that, sort of, kind of. So it should have like a little wrappingness there. It's coming along extremely well. And I actually busted it walking in between there, uh, trying to get these two by tens on. Um, the main thing I messed up on was I made these posts too far apart. And so when I connected these, I didn't quite have enough room, so I had to go a little bit further on. But no big deal. Frodo, what are you doing? But she's a coming. All I gotta do is throw the boards across. They should all be 12 foot exactly, so I shouldn't even have to cut these. I should just be able to go lay them out there and, and uh, screw them in. So hopefully this should be a fairly short job in order to do that and then make the gangway and attach it, and that'll be all she wrote for the dock. It's coming along very well so far. We got the boards placed on their hush bro. Got the boards placed, and I didn't have to cut a single board. They all fit flushly up against here. So you can see all the way across there. And luckily, I didn't even have to cut one down either I mean the biggest gap I've got is right here so I was within less than an inch total which I so I got a little bit lucky there so they, they fit pretty good um, we got a ghetto gangway right now so <laughs> the, some two by sixes to the boat to there but the gangway is the last piece of the puzzle We'll be off to the races. Okay, I have constructed the framework of the gangway here. <clears throat> I 
I did it on the floating dock. That way I can just roll it out to attach it over there. So I've used two by sixes, mounted two two by sixes together here, and an extra on the outside. I mounted it, I've already flipped it upside down so I can mount the wheels. I doubled up there so that the wheels could have a good firm place to attach. And I've doubled up here so that I have a good spot for my connector. I've measured it, so hopefully it'll be good enough. And I, it should land about the first, I don't know, eighth of the way through here. So that should accommodate any uh, movement during the off season. So it should have a pretty good amount of space through here. So now we gotta attach it. So we've got one problem here, I'm trying to attach this. And that is, it ain't level. See that? So I'm gonna have to make it work. We can do it. So we finally got this, got this attached here last night. <laughs> it took a little while. You can see we got it connected there, got it bolted on and all that kind of good stuff. I gotta do a few more things to attach this properly. But yeah, it looks pretty good so far. It's on there. Just gotta start screwing the wood down. Ramp up. I don't really know how to do this. I'm kinda just winging my way through this. Um, cut some two by sixes. Cut the tops off so they're kinda flush and even across. And now I've just got a piece of wood on the ground. And I'm just gonna hang these little pieces off the edge and have them connected and then just run them up through there. I'm not really sure what angle I needed to be, but I think it should be, I think it should be all right. Anyway, see how it goes. So the dock is basically complete. We have a few things to trim up and polish up and this, that, and the other, but the overall design and function of it is complete. We've got, we scabbed in a little area here, a little ramp area, which turned out good. And our gangway turned out good too. Daddy. Abigail's testing it out. <laughs> Daddy! Yup. Y'all jump off the side. Y'all go jump. I probably overlapped it a little bit too much, but not crazy. I wanted to compensate for when the water levels are down. It's gonna come in some. And so that was the point of that. I cut those down. I'm going to put some caps over the tops of those. Um, but yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Turned out well. The little wheels that I bought worked out well. It's not too high of a jump there, or a step there, rather. And I was worried. I was worried about the, the weight causing it to tip over. And that was the other reason I wanted to put the gangway a little bit more towards the middle, not on the very, very end. But it doesn't seem to uh, sink at all. It seems to be holding, supporting the weight perfectly fine. I think that that extra floater I put right where it sits is doing its job. So turned out very good. The gangway has a slight a bit of drop to it, which is kind of what you're looking for there. So far, so good. I'm very pleased with it.